Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a loft in SOLIDWORKS 2010. I'll try to be quick, fast and as simple as possible. Okay, the first thing you need to have is at least two different planes to have two different sketches on each. So by I'm trying to make a uh, second plane by holding the control key down and clicking on the one of the initial planes. Okay, I'll try to have let's say four planes with 40 millimeter distance between each okay technically now I have five planes because I have my initial and four new ones okay okay I'm trying to make a circle doesn't matter the dimensions I just try to have a your sketch you can dimension it later okay my first sketch is a circle and I rebuilt it so I should be I could be able to have my second sketch on the second plane okay I'm going to have my second sketch which is a circle but this time bigger okay I I'm trying to make a pot I'm not sure how it goes but it should be something like a something you put your flowers in it I don't know what exactly you call it okay my third sketch would be a circle again bigger than the first two okay by rebuilding it I go to the fourth uh, yes fourth plane and draw another circle but this time the same size as the second circle okay rebuilt and again on the fifth plane I'm going to have a circle but this time a little bigger than the fourth one and smaller than the third one okay now you should have a shape like that okay I'm gonna hide the plane so you should you could see better you don't have to okay if I just make a loft right now it would be uh, something rough because I have no sketches as my guide curves so the SOLIDWORKS doesn't uh, follow the path you, you want it to be followed but it just does it on its own way okay this is how SOLIDWORKS makes your loft okay something like that you can change this path the following path by moving the green points around to have it more efficient okay you see I just screwed up okay it goes like that okay that's the way SOLIDWORKS makes your pot but you can do it uh, the way you want by having your okay I'm not gonna make this loft okay now I'm going to choose a uh, plane which connects all of your sketches together okay now I'm going to draw a sketch and define it as my guide curves okay remember the guide curve should uh, be in contact in with each of your sketches otherwise SOLIDWORKS does not accept that as a path okay to make this done I'm going to pierce each contacting point with it with each of my sketches okay pierced this point control key down this is sketch and pierce again Sorry, it takes a long. Okay. By rebuilding it, you have your path. It can be in any shape, any any shape you want. Okay. I'm going I'm not going to make a symmetric uh path here because I'm just trying to teach you how is it to have 
different guide curves. It can be any shape. If it, can, it can be symmetric. It can be non non symmetric. It can be anything. Okay. So this time I'm going to make use um, linear lines and by rebuilding it. Okay, I can pierce it, but looks like it is pierced already. But to make sure, I'm I'm gonna pierce it again. And this procedure is going to take like one minute top and but it 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 is worth it. Okay. And rebuild this sketch. Now I have two different guide curves. Okay. I'm going to add a third one just to be sure that it, it, it is a lot it's going to be different uh, than the first one you saw the SOLIDWORKS the, the one the SOLIDWORKS did itself okay just trying to make it odd path so it would be clear for you okay this this path definitely has to be pierced because it's very risky not leaving it without piercing I'm holding the control key down and choosing uh, the path and each sketch step by step you can do that too okay so done and ready to make a loft okay now oh sorry choosing your sketches SOLIDWORKS follows the standard path and you see you can change the green points you can drag them around on your sketches but uh, since you have guide curves it's, it's not necessary okay by clicking on this guide curves area you can now choose your guide curves okay this is my first one and this is the second one and that's the fourth one third one sorry okay you see now I have my loft body and it's an odd shape it's not a pot but I'm just trying to make it clear how the guide curves works okay if I now edit this feature and uh, delete the guide curves it, the pot would be in a symmetric shape so let's see how it goes okay deleting the guide curves it would be okay okay the part is now symmetric thank you for watching